really good grandmaster. Be kind to me, Keith. Let's play six. Let's play the king. Let's play the Benoni. He's gonna play d5, or he's gonna play knight c3, just like declining and transposing it to some English. Okay, so let's play the Blumenfeld actually. So goes for this. I can go h6 now. So I'm hitting b2. Pawns are a little bit exposed. Let's go here. Let's. Keith is uh, Keith is making me work for it. Okay, if I take the pawn, queen takes. He's threatening this. I have e a six. I like a six because now I'm not allowing him to bring his knight to b five. Okay, so now I'll go here. Gonna be interesting to to see if he can really harm me here. Okay, so if I move my queen bishop d3, I can take on g2. G1, queen h3. Rook g3, queen h5. Okay. So here. This I'll go here. Well, d6. Blah. What am I doing to myself? Maybe I need to like transfer my bishop over here. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Like I'm actually threatening this pawn on d5. If he plays knight b6, I have takes on d5. He can take my rook for sure. I'll put it back. If he takes, I can get jack. Be interesting. So knight b6 it is. If I take. Okay, so if I go rook, okay, so now this is the question. Do I go rook a7? Do I go rook a7? I think so. And he will not play d6 because then he opens up my bishop. And then e5 could be weak with f6. So this is a case of taking a lot of space. Let's see if I can punish him and we'll call it overextension. So if I win, we'll call this overextension. If, he, if I lose, we'll call it you're doing great. Yeah, not, you know, I gotta admit, this isn't like the best possible position. Okay, g3. Okay, let's go for this. If bishop g2, I have bishop d8. My bishop is also eyeing the knight on h4. Okay, so he goes here. Like, I don't want to go here because in h3. So I have to play queen h5. But he really needs to play quickly or else I'm going to be able to crack him. So he wants to go here. So let's we have to play f5. I'm stopping g4 because obviously I just take. If he takes, I just take back. This position is a mess. I mean you can hop a song. G4. What? Am I missing something? He's going for this. Wow. I have king f7. Okay, but now I can take this pawn. What is this game? Okay, so now we check me. Do I go here or do I go here? Let's play king g8 because I'm slightly afraid of the open f file. I gotta say, I'm not really enjoying this position at all. But maybe this is the key to winning. He could go rook g3, but I have queen h1. So there is potential here. Huh. Okay, rook g3, so I have queen h1. Gives me the rook, I will take it. Goes here. Now I have h5. Then he could take. I'll take queen g6. h5 he has rook f4. Okay, so he wants to go rook f4. Let's play b3. If he does a takes, okay, so I go here. Let's check. Hmm. 
Now, I might have bishop g5 at some point. Okay, so now I can force a queen trade, and I think I win the game. Ooh. Wow, what a game. Oh my god. That was incredible. I can't believe I pulled that off. I thought I was absolutely going to get destroyed. All of you thought I was going to get destroyed. Don't even lie to me. You thought I was going to get destroyed. I played the Blumenfeld. I played it completely wrong. This move h6 is just a waste of time. Now, the main line is takes, 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 and d5. And, you know, black is playing down a pawn, but they get a lot of compensation. I'll castle next, bishop b7. So he's absolutely destroying me here. I didn't play b5 before because I don't like knight b5. What does the engine say about it? It says white is just much better. Okay, so here I played a6 and I was just getting destroyed. It's funny, like it says plus four and then he goes here and it's plus three. <laughs> engine can't make up its mind. Rook a7. Okay. G3. Wow. Okay, so that. And here, for a moment, I thought it was game over because I thought he had bishop g6 and I couldn't see how I stopped it. And that entered my mind that I had king f7. He plays rook g1, which is the computer move. I take, gave me a check. I brought my king to safety. Check, knight. Oh yeah, so he should have blocked with the knight. I would have played h5 actually with the idea of lifting my rook, but also bringing back my queen to g5. But the problem is I'm down a whole set of pieces on the queen side. And, okay, but he played here, he gave me his rook. I played b3 really to distract his queen, but he gave me a check. I was, luckily I had the foresight to see that taking would probably destroy me because check, check. Yeah. And his rook comes in. Oh, rook f4, as the, the engine says. So I found king here, and I thought that if he goes here, I was able to just go here. And I was able to trade queens. Now, it's important to know that had he run up, I had bishop g5. And I saw this. If he takes, I can just rook takes. And now my rook can come into the attack. So the, originally, the pawn that is blocking my rook from getting into the game will be removed. And I can just go rook h3 and I'll have this beautiful attack. I thought that was like a great defensive effort on my part. Now, I'm not usually the braggadocio type. But uh, I really like that game. Yeah.